in Memphis when Sting and Warrior were the Freedom Fighters? And if so, did you work with them? Yeah, and yeah, sure did. Um, I was there when Jerry Jarrett told them they need to give up the business because they'll never make a dime. Sure was. Really? Yes. I believe Pat Rose and I worked with them. Wow, I didn't realize that. Damn. How were but, they, though? Were they completely green and just terrible? Yeah, they didn't know anything, and I don't think at that time they were wanting to learn anything. Uh, but that's when they got sent to uh, Louisiana and Dallas. I think they went to Louisiana first together, or am I wrong? Mm. After, after Jarrett... Uh, they got booked in Louisiana. I know. Sting yes. Did. Yes. Okay. And then, and then, uh, Warrior decided to go to uh, Dallas. Texas. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And Sting stayed. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I I just remember, and that's what they did back then. They send you somewhere and get some reps in, and then when you're ready, they'll bring you back. But uh, Jerry had enough and said, "Guys, good luck." Interesting that, uh, you know, they became two of the all-time greats, if you really look at it. And, well, it really know, is, yeah. That, that's, that's Horrible beginnings. Right. It, it just goes to show you it's not necessarily knowing all the wrestling holds. It's, it's going in there and learning how to get over. And there's a, there's a big difference uh, being a great worker and then being over. Huge difference. You know, there's been great workers who got over, and there's been great workers who did who didn't get over. But then you had guys who couldn't uh, spell Sam, uh, be millionaires, become millionaires, and that's Austin Idol and I kid about this sometimes. Um, yeah. So it, anyway, but I, I tell him it's like, dude, you. You shouldn't wrestle. You didn't wrestle. He goes, no. I, said, I, I explain that to my guys all the time. You need to know the basics and fundamentals. You have to have that. That's that's a foundation. But once you get that down, and I don't mean in six months or six years, you'll know. Once you get that down, then you realize it's not about doing a great hammerlock. It's about the in-between stuff you do. It's about getting people to connect to you. If you watch Dusty Rhodes and superstar Billy Graham from the Garden, they had three matches, I believe. Do you remember those? Yes. Three matches in the Garden. I think it was a bull rope, Texas death, and the first one was a just a regular match, something like that. And you watch it um, and watch what they do. It's It's – the Gaga in between that made them the superstars. They knew how to do some stuff and they did some stuff and they did what they had to do because less is more. You don't need to do a whole bunch of stuff when you have this uh, presence. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.